Let's see. Now, <coughs> I can't do it right now. It's barely visible. Yeah, it's barely visible. Well, I'm going to get the number of the I should have monetized the uh, speaker here that was been okay. Because the game is much more secure to me. According to an ancient legend, the lakes of the area haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire, but death, not love, was awaiting her. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight! My love is not here yet. I'll wait. You're here at last. What's going on? Why are you acting weird? That's good. I know you kissed another. Hmm? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. What did I do to you? In despair, the man confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman, whenever events take her back to that sad day.
Ciao, I'm Julia. Julia Kay. I'm glad you are here. Nobody has visited me in ages. It's been years now. I must tell you my story, but I don't know where to begin. I enjoyed setting up cameras in the woods by the lake. My father created a device that attached to the cameras. It would make them take pictures at set intervals. I was trying to photograph animals or whatever else was in that damned place. Wait a Okay. Kishe Rita. Kishe. Kiwasa. I don't need wooden tummy. I don't have a call. Tomorrow, what's in the make work? Reel off the film. Open the camera. Remove the old roll of film. The 
a new film in. Close the camera. Load the film. Activate the timer. Almost ready. Now to bring the image into focus. There's something floating on the surface of the water. If I frame it better, I might be able to see what it is. I instantly noticed that the person was wearing one of my dresses. I was scared. I dragged that lifeless body as best as I could to the shore, trying not to drown myself. Only when I lifted her in my arms did I realize who she was. It was my sister. My twin, a part of me. Dead. Impossible to comprehend. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do or to think. to stay calm. Martha is not dead. It's not possible. It's not true. There's no need to worry. Everything is fine. Everything will be fine. Martha is not dead. Martha, February 26th, 1923. Is everything okay? Are you hurt? What are you doing? Go, Eric. Run! My parents ran towards me. My mother hugged me. She, who detested me, was now cuddling me. Her warmth filled me with life, and the pain became bearable. I felt protected. Martha, are you okay? She asked me, speaking slowly in order to let me read her lips. She thought I was deaf. She thought I was Martha. I didn't want the moment to fade. So I meekly nodded my head. I didn't realize I had done something that couldn't be undone. I would have to pretend to be Martha. Forever.
It was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all the dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Scary fairy tales. Everything seems to be scary lately. Yet everything here is so beautiful and bright. Oh, demo mode. Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Even more scary fairy tales. This is Martha's trinket box. It could contain something that will help to figure out what happened. It's locked. Please don't tell me it's a demo mode. I'm already dressed. I always keep my trinket box locked. I 
I'm already dressed. <coughs> Everything I need is always in my bag. The key to my trinket box. Is my diary. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. She does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. July 16th, 1944. Yes, Huey. I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Martha's breakfast is ready. We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. Uh, I promise. The thought makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right, but let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them.
this game makes some Brutal nation in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Firm Bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defense shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Erene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announced Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th, 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by... For Julia to take more and more photos, Dad. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me materials to take photographs instead. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. Bread, butter, jam, and coffee. Martha's typical breakfast. I prefer honey and milk, but I'll have to adapt to her tastes, obviously. These masks, I remember them vividly. I always try to escape their gaze.
G. Bonds. On the day of St. Alexis, the battle rages in the city tormented by Anglo-American bonds. Florence, bond. July 15, 1944. A company of the Fascian Regiment counterattacked yesterday. As per our plan, we are sending you military encrypted communication material. The situation the is currently must remain under control. Hidden and secret. Hail. Feld Mascheralo, Carl H. That's not possible. It must be this whole situation making me see things that don't exist. <laughs> Old photographs that father took of this house. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see.
I don't want to keep playing. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them.
Excellent. I've taken the picture. Now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Yeah, I'm bugged in the system by chasing all the stuff that stands good.
Not a bad photograph. It seems that the handle worked perfectly. I should go to the lake by going through the woods. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost it? I think he knows. I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. Verdammt! done to you. What? 
handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. Shut the girl, you moron! Shit, shit, shit! What do we do now? Look what's around her neck! She's one of them! It had to be done! She's General Erich Kahr's daughter, you fucking idiot! She was that poor sort's girlfriend! Oh shit! We're really fucked now! Shit, let's go! But... but she's alive! She's dying! See where you hit her? She's probably already dead! We've got to run now, or we'll be dead too! Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, Identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were... Still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and the games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However... Little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. 
I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Tell me a bedtime story. Not tonight. There's a fall. We should have been there. Not her. Town of Flight eh, per me è incredibile essere qui oggi